In the quiet town of Eldridge, nestled between dense woods and forgotten valleys, an eerie tradition loomed over its 181 inhabitants. Every few decades, when the town's population reached exactly 181, the locals would gather for a sinister feast. A feast that would begin with the selection of one unfortunate soul, destined to become a sacrificial offering to a fake god, a deity conjured in desperation to bring peace to the town. The air in Eldridge always grew thick with tension as the population approached the ominous number. Whispers circulated through the narrow streets, and anxious glances were exchanged between the townsfolk. Nobody knew where the tradition originated, but fear had cemented it into the very fabric of their existence. The townspeople, driven by an unspoken pact, would assemble in the centre of the town square on the fateful night. A dimly lit altar stood at the heart of the square, adorned with ghastly symbols that only the elders understood. As the night deepened, the inhabitants would draw straws to determine who among them would be the sacrificial lamb. One year, a young woman named Alara found herself marked by the twisted hand of fate. She had grown up in the shadow of this ominous tradition, hearing hushed conversations and witnessing the dread that swept through Eldridge when the dreaded number was near. Yet nothing could prepare her for the suffocating terror that gripped her when the accursed straw revealed her fate. As the Chosen One, Elara was bound and led to the altar, the oppressive silence of the townsfolk echoing in her ears. Elders chanted in a language long forgotten, their faces masked by hooded robes. The makeshift god, a grotesque effigy assembled from bones and decaying vegetation, loomed over Elara as she was presented as an offering to quell the town's anxieties. The ritual culminated in a macabre feast, where the town's inhabitants, faces painted with a mix of sorrow and relief, consumed Alara's flesh. They believed that by consuming her, they absorbed her pain and ensured the town's continued tranquility. However, the ritual's dark magic began to manifest in disturbing ways. Eldridge became plagued by haunting apparitions and the once fertile lands turned barren. The fake god, once a source of solace, seemed to demand more with each passing year. 